Right now, live team coverage as the snow continues to fall, when it will come to an end and how much we're expecting to get. Please help me, please help me, please, 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 please. Plus, incredible new video showing Beloit police saving the life of a young child. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. And thanks for joining us. If you don't have anywhere to go tonight, that's probably the best place to be. Just stay home. The snow continues to fall across much of the state. Road conditions are deteriorating, and some local school districts are already changing their plans for tomorrow, and those include Portage, Baraboo, and Wisconsin Dell schools. So far, MMSD officials say they have not yet made a decision yet on whether to close elementary and middle schools tomorrow. High school students already had no classes scheduled due to parent-teacher conferences. Well, we have team coverage this evening. Arman Rahman with the latest from local street crews on how they're approaching this storm. But first, we're going to go to Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with our latest first warn forecast. Well, we're continuing to watch the steady snow across much of southern Wisconsin. It's been that way all evening. It will start to wind down a little bit later on tonight, but we have winter storm warnings remain in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning west of a Platteville to Lone Rock to Wisconsin Dells Line. East of there are winter weather advisories, including Madison and Dane County. Uh, areas east of Dane County, that advisory runs until 9 a.m. Elsewhere, it runs until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Most of the accumulating snow will be done by about that time, but when all is said and done, we're probably looking at around six inches here in Madison, maybe a little bit more in spots, especially to our south and to our east, closer to Lake Michigan. Some lake effect snows could be exceed the nine to 10 inch mark in the Milwaukee metro area down into Racine and Kenosha counties. Right now, this is uh, current radar with the visibilities overlaid. Visibility right now, three quarters of a mile in Madison with light to moderate snow, but heavy snow being reported at the Baraboo Dells Airport with a quarter mile visibility. Those visibilities are starting to improve across much of southwestern Wisconsin. You can see on high resolution radar with temperatures overlaid, uh, those temperatures just below freezing, but the snow starting to become a little lighter as you head into southwestern Wisconsin. At six hour future track radar shows that slow but steady eastward progression starting to move through Grant County by about 4 a.m. And I think by about six or seven o'clock here in Madison, uh, most of the accumulating snow will be done with. Otherwise, look for occasional snow overnight. It'll be cloudy and breezy. The snow lightening up in intensity low dropping to about 30 degrees but as soon as the snow moves out we have another system to watch for saturday night and sunday i'll have more on that in just a few minutes all right gary thank you and several local communities have also declared snow emergencies there are more than a dozen so far and that includes beloit janesville stoughton lodi and mcfarland we have a full list and the details at channel 3000.com a live look at the road conditions this is the Beltline right now again Stay in if you can, and tomorrow morning also prepare for plenty of slippery stretches out there. Overnight crews will be working nonstop to keep those major thoroughfares clear. Our Armand Rahman has been out in the elements for a good portion of the day, and he joins us from the backyard patio with an update from the City Streets Division. Armand? Yeah, Eric and Charlotte Plows will be out in force tonight. They say their main goal for the time being are those major thoroughfares, which include bus routes and around health care facilities. Now, as, mu as of now, they are waiting to see how much snow falls to decide whether they will be conducting a citywide plow operation. That update is expected to come tomorrow morning sometime. They say with elevated pavement temperatures, there will be some melting as the snow falls, and that means slushy roadways likely into the morning commute. But you know, it's not just roads. Sidewalks and crosswalks had very slippery very quickly today. But of course, people who live near the capital still had to get to work, school, and home through all the muck. And it's becoming a broken record every Thursday for a lot of those downtown residents. Every week, I've kind of assumed that this winter was over. But like Groundhog Day, almost every Thursday has whipped wintry weather at Wisconsinites. And every week, I just want it to stop. They're sick of it. I work actually every Thursday at Bel Air, and it's been just killing my sales. Like many others, Tanner and Sheridan live and work downtown. So they end up walking or trudging through the muck the morning after these storms. I have my big Sorrel snow boots that always come out on Thursdays. Um, actually, it'd be Friday mornings. I always have to pull them out. And of course, it all hits right when you want to paint the town at the end of the week. Sometimes when I do go out with friends, um, yeah, it's just not as enjoyable if you're waiting for lines out there. So that leaves residents with only a couple options. Escape for as long as they can. I'm super ready for spring. My friends are going to Miami today oh. while I'm getting stuck here in the snow. Or keep dreaming about summer. I would like to wear shorts. That's my main take here. 
Because at this point, who knows when Mother Nature wants that to happen. The weather's been on and off. I don't know. I feel like Wisconsin needs to pick a way to go. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, like you said, I've been out here for a portion of the day, uh, you know, as most reporters do in these weather conditions. They stay outside, tell you to not come outside. I still don't quite agree with that model, but here we are. And you know, I've heard a lot of people say that, you know, they think this is going to be the very last, you know, big snowstorm we get for this winter, but I've lived in the Midwest long enough to know not to get my hopes up. Mm -hmm. Eric and Charlotte. It's a rite of passage, Armand. Thank you very much. And coming up in just a few minutes, we will hear from Gary Canalti again with more details on tonight's storm and we also have extensive coverage for you to check out on our website or on our free channel 3000 first warn weather app it is great for storms like this to stay up to date on the go right from your phone next tonight the beloit police department has released body camera footage showing a pair of officers as they rescue a two-year-old girl who is choking on some food What? Oh. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, she was drinking water. She's, she's, please help me. Please help me. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. When they saw the officers, they were in the middle of a traffic stop last week when that woman ran down the road screaming for help. One officer started performing back slaps on the child while the other officer called for EMS. After a minute or so, the little girl began crying, a sign that she could breathe. The woman told police she was babysitting the young girl when she started choking on some pizza. And new video tonight from Racine County as well showing a car swerving across all lanes of traffic on I-94 earlier this week before eventually coming to a stop. The sheriff's office says the driver had suffered an overdose and was unconscious. Good Samaritans approached the vehicle to help the driver, broke a window open with a shovel, pulled her unconscious body out. Minutes later, deputies arrived on the scene and were able to save her. In Milwaukee today, city leaders released a new 40-page plan on how they will tackle the rise in violent crime. The report notes that 95% of homicides there last year were gun-related. In the lengthy plan of action, it maps out strategies of community engagement, crime reduction partnerships, and district-level micro-crime plans. The biggest difference compared to past years, the added resources to help decrease domestic violence. Another day, another train derailment. This one in Alabama, again involving the Norfolk Southern Train Company. The local fire department says no hazardous materials were released and there is no danger to the public. The National Transportation Safety Board is on the way to investigate. Well, this latest derailment happened just hours before Norfolk Southern CEO testified before a Senate committee about February's toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. There, he apologized for the incident and pledged $20 million to the region and residents and announced several voluntary safety upgrades. But earlier this month, a bipartisan group of senators unveiled a new rail safety bill. Will you commit to supporting the Bipartisan Railway Safety Act and help restore the public's trust in your company? Yes, Senator, there are a number of provisions that we would absolutely support. And those include tighter standards for tank cars the railroads don't own, expanded hazardous materials training for first responders, and standards for detectors used to spot problems along the track. New tonight, the bodies of the two Americans killed in a kidnapping in Matamoros, Mexico, have been returned now to U.S. soil. This evening, a hearse escorted by law enforcement transported the bodies to the Brownsville, Texas side of the border at Veterans International Bridge. Their bodies were found Tuesday in a wooden shed few miles outside Matamoros. The two surviving victims are still currently hospitalized. In Ukraine overnight, the Russian military has launched a deadly barrage of missiles across the country. Ukraine's president says those missiles hit energy centers and also residential buildings. Those attacks killed several people, most of them hundreds of miles away from the front lines. So far, Russia is said to have fired more than 80 missiles across the country, claiming at least 11 lives and knocking out power. And in the country of Georgia, what has been a violent few days of protest, much more reserved today. This after the country's ruling party said it was withdrawing a bill on foreign agents, which opponents have called a Russia-inspired authoritarian shift.
Developing tonight, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell being treated at a hospital after a fall at a D.C. hotel yesterday. His spokesperson says Leader McConnell tripped at a dinner event and he's expected to remain in the hospital for a few days of observation. And locally, News 3 Now and the Cap Times are partnering to host a debate between the two candidates for Madison Mayor. It'll be streamed live on Channel3000.com and CapTimes.com, as well as our social media platform starting at 7 p.m. on Monday. March 27th. The debate will also re-air right here on Channel 3 at 4 p.m. on Tuesday, March 28th. Today, News 3 Now partnering with the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund for a Day of Warmth telethon. And with your help, we collected more than $42,000 for those in need across the state. And even though the telethon is over, there are still ways you can help out and donate. Just click on the link at channel3000.com. Still ahead, Gary will have the latest on this winter storm system. Plus, a News 3 Now exclusive. Meet a young girl living with a rare disease and the family reaching out to the community. Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. Lake Ridge may be a new name, but it isn't a new bank. It's one built on over a century of community commitment. One equipped with all the knowledge and resources of 145 collective years of experience. Monona Bank and State Bank of Cross Plains are coming together as one. As Lake Ridge Bank, we're doing more together for you. You've got places to be, things to do, goals to crush. So at Basecamp Fitness, we pack 50 minutes worth of calorie burn into just 35. How do we do it? By switching between 60 second intervals of air bike cardio and strength training to keep the workout and your progress moving forward fast, no matter what level you're at. Take a free class, join, and get a $100 Lululemon gift card through March 31st. Visit any of our three Madison locations or BasecampFitness.com. Remember this, and this, and the false selector scheme. In Wisconsin, extremist Dan Kelly was the right-wing lawyer behind the scenes of it all. The bipartisan January 6th commission revealed Kelly advised Trump operatives as special counsel to overturn the will of the people and overthrow the election results. Kelly even went on tour promoting the big lie. On April 4th, vote like democracy depends on it, because it does. There are so many things we take for granted, and along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. Do you hear that? That's the sound of Patti LaBelle taking over my show. Whoa! You turned this place out. Then a magical music moment with Mama Patti. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. A popular brand of car seat is being recalled. Doral Juvenile Group is recalling more than 59,000 Safety First and Maxi Cozy car seats. The company says the anchors used to secure the base may fail, which would allow the seat to detach from the car. Doral says it will mail a replacement to owners for free. It's a rare disorder affecting fewer than 50,000 people in the U.S., but no one parent wants to hear their child has Rett syndrome, a missing protein that affects brain development and speaking. Now, it also creates financial obstacles, and that's why a Ford Atkinson family is looking to the community for help. Armand Rahman has a story you'll only see on News 3 Now. 
Meet Amaya Lowry. Like many five-year-olds, she loves junk food and the movie Trolls on repeat. It's a phase. But what sets her apart is not just her retro music taste. You can get her to do anything for Umbop. Amaya lives with Rett syndrome. Ready? Come here. We noticed it at about, I want to say between like 9 and 18 months. Like she wasn't able to get up anymore. So it was just very, it was very sad to watch. We went for four, three or four years without being able to communicate with her very well. Rett syndrome is a genetic disease that occurs mostly in young girls and rarely in young boys. Often they'll lose the ability to uh, speak and they'll lose the ability to use their hands for just to do different things. She's all there mentally, but she's locked inside a body. But Rett syndrome, like many rare diseases, comes with a massive economic burden. Now Kara and Tyler have to get a new wheelchair accessible van for Amaya. It's it's just becoming kind of like a safety issue for her with the car seat because as you can see, she's very tall. And their safety. It's basically a deadlift. A brand new model that will last doesn't come cheap. And those can run anywhere from like 35 to 60. They're hosting a GoFundMe Saturday to raise about $50,000. And part of it is to create awareness around Rett syndrome and part of it is to help her get her van. Research into a possible cure for Rett syndrome is still ongoing. Want some applesauce? Uh, Leaving Amaya to live her life like this. It's almost like grieving for something that you could, that you know she could have had that she probably won't if we're being realistic about it. Reading. reading. She loves reading. Thanks to a special keyboard that tracks her eye movements, nothing's stopping her from getting her point across. She has a button on here that says, ha, 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 and she's real quick with that. So I'm like, you are messing with all of us. Because like all five-year-olds, she has a smile that's irresistible and unbreakable. So. Do I feel happy? Yeah, are you happy? That's awesome. I like it that you're happy. In Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. She does have a beautiful smile. There will be a fundraiser for Amaya's van called Driven to Care with two Euchre tournaments and $5,000 in donated raffle items. It's happening this Saturday at the Oakland Center Tavern at Ward Atkinson. Now, if you can't make it, an online raffle is also available. Next tonight, as spring break travel gets underway, the TSA has a few reminders for anyone planning to travel through Dane County Regional Airport. They say with increased travel volumes over the next couple of weeks, arriving early, is extra important, more so than ever. They recommend getting to the airport two hours ahead of time, especially during peak times. In addition, they say passengers need to pack smart because any delays at the TSA checkpoints not only slow you down, but everyone waiting behind you as well. If you aren't sure about an item and whether you can bring it on a plane, go to tsa.gov to a feature titled, What Can I Bring? And spring break, no doubt, on the minds many mm -hmm. as we get hit with more winter weather. Here's Gary with the latest in his first warm forecast. I don't think anybody's packing a snow shovel on board <laughs> yeah. to go on board. They're going to get Leave out of behind. Time. Yeah, well, uh, you're going to need the shovel tomorrow morning. The snow continues to pile up. Here are some of the very latest snowfall reports. A couple of these just coming in in the last couple of minutes. Uh, just measured the snow out in our backyard and we're at 3.8 inches. It's a big fluffy snow. We picked up almost an inch in the last hour. So we'll We'll probably see these totals go up a couple more inches before uh, the snow starts to taper off. But already Portage, six and a half inches, uh, Partyville, six inches, Nesita, uh, four inches. But that's as of a couple of hours ago. That's probably going up. Same thing with Janesville. That report about 7, 8, uh, 7 p.m. And they're at about three inches. Now, uh, still have winter storm warnings for the western part of our viewing area. Winter weather advisories, Madison and the central part of our viewing area through 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. East of Dane County, Dodge and Jefferson counties, uh, those advisories run through 9 a.m. tomorrow. The snowfall potential, this is the map that we have. We might have to shift this band up a little bit. I think we're probably going to end up in, with six inches still around most of Dane County. Uh, already, again, we've seen some six-inch readings across uh, Columbia County. Farther to the south, the snow is starting to cut off a little bit more over southwestern Wisconsin. So that area might be a little closer to maybe four or five inches, whereas the five or six inch totals might be creeping up into parts of Columbia and Dodge County. High resolution radar with the uh, current visibilities, lower the number, lower visibility, the heavier the snow right now, three quarters of a mile visibility in Madison, half mile visibility and moderate snow at the Baraboo Dells Airport, but most areas seeing between about one and three mile visibilities and notice they are generally starting to increase out to the west and that's a sign that the snow is starting to lighten up. And as we look at the radar loop over the last 
last uh, hour or so, and these are with uh, temperatures over it. Notice the temperatures just below freezing, but the snow starting to break up to our south and to our west will widen out the radar view, and you can see definitely a, a lessening trend across much of Iowa, the back edge of the snow uh, now approaching the Mississippi River. So six-hour future track radar shows that snow lifting to the north and east and eventually starting to wind down as we head into tomorrow morning. Future track uh, beginning right now across uh, southern Wisconsin. Steady snow for the next couple of hours, but the snow starting to lighten up, especially south and west of Madison. And then as we head toward early tomorrow morning, temperatures just below freezing, but notice the snow becoming a little more spotty in nature. And by lunchtime tomorrow, uh, we're seeing the snow really start to wind down to just flurries. By tomorrow night, we're looking at perhaps just uh, cloudy skies, even some breaks in the overcast, allowing temperatures to drop into the upper 20s. But the clouds come rolling back in for Saturday. And guess what? The next batch of snow develops out to the west of us. So that starts approaching the Mississippi River by mid-afternoon. By Saturday evening and early uh, Sunday morning, we're seeing steady snow over much of southern Wisconsin. Then that starts to wind down as we head into perhaps Sunday afternoon. But still, this could bring at least a little bit of accumulation one of our computer models showing about a one to two inch snowfall, maybe a little bit heavier to the north, whereas one of the other computer models maybe closer to three inches. So that does bear some watching. Otherwise, winter storm warning again for a western viewing area, winter weather advisory elsewhere through the overnight hours. Look for a high tomorrow of 34. The snow will taper to flurries pretty early in the morning. And again, the heavier snow probably right over the Madison area, maybe a little bit less than we have here uh, down toward the Illinois state line, a little bit more north of Dane County. Look for a low of 33 in Fitchburg, 33 in Wanakee with the snow ending late tonight and for uh, tomorrow look for a high of 34 in Platteville and 35 degrees in Lone Rock. Our first one 7 to 10 day forecast again that next chance of snow Saturday night into Sunday but by the middle of next week perhaps warm enough for some rain from Wednesday afternoon into Thursday. St. Patrick's Day maybe a few flurries in the morning but temperatures still a little bit below normal. And coming up in sports, Wisconsin lit the lamp at will. How the Badgers skated by the Sharks with ease and on to the regional finals. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Pick and Save, we want our fresh produce to meet your expectations, which is why we do up to a 27-point inspection to check for things like color and scarring. Because when it comes to fresh, higher standards mean fresher produce. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Sexual assault of an 11-year-old, no prison time. He raped a military veteran, left her for dead just two and a half years. Raped a mentally disabled 14-year-old, probation. How the heck did this happen? Janet Protasiewicz. If you could go back in time, would you have ruled any differently? I would say no. Really? No time in prison? I would say no. Protasiewicz set violent criminals free. Again and again. Tell Judge Protasiewicz, stop protecting criminals. The local water experts at Culligan can take care of... Everything but the kitchen sink. Actually, we do that too. Culligan, here for every water worry. I love you, kitten. You're so cute. <laughs> I really hope you like your new house. I'm gonna protect you. If you're shopping for the cheapest insurance, you're shopping for the wrong thing. Look at me food and water every day. I'm gonna swaddle you up every night. <laughs> After all, insurance coverage is really just a promise. And why would anyone want a cheap promise? You've worked hard for what you have. Don't be scared. Protect it with a company that you trust. A company that lives up to that promise to make everything right again. You like it, huh? Ask your independent insurance agent about protecting your home or business with a policy from West Bend. It's a simple promise, but there's really nothing cheap about it. You're gonna be really loved, and I hope you like it here. West Bend, the worst brings out our best. The world's largest consumer bicycle show, Bikerama, is this weekend at Madison's Lion Energy Center. Spring is coming, so is the 27th annual Bikerama, and admission is free. Dozens of factory reps for all the major brands will be on hand to answer your questions about the new 2023 models. All at the lowest prices of the year. Test ride e-bikes on the huge indoor test track. Clothing, helmets, parts, and accessories up to 90% off. Half price inner tubes. All bicycles include free local service. The 27th annual Bikerama at Madison's Lion Energy Center. This weekend starts Friday at noon through 6 o'clock Sunday. 
At Lawton Cates, we provide compassion and guidance after a serious accident. From the first phone call, we're by your side. We know how much is at stake, and we're dedicated to ensuring you can heal and move forward. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. At Pick and Save, however you shop, in-store, pickup, or delivery, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards. That's a win-win-win. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Before the puck even dropped, Wisconsin had two things in their favor over Long Island. Experience playing in the NCAA tournament and a tough WCHA regular season under their belt. Two things that should help the Badgers skate past the Sharks, and UW lit the lamp at will in this one. KK Harvey got the scoring going in the first with a snipe, and that was just the beginning. Later in the first period, the captain, Britta Curl, goes corner pocket for another goal. Eight different Badgers scored as Wisconsin advances to the regional finals with a 9-1 win. They'll face Colgate on Saturday. Going one and done in the Big Ten tournament certainly did not help Wisconsin's case to get into the NCAA tournament. Resume-wise, the Badgers are okay. They have six quad one wins, which is good. But before last night's loss, their net was 78 which isn't great. So now all that's left to do is wait and see on Sunday if it's on the March Madness for UW or the NIT. Either way, Greg Gard hopes there's more basketball for his team to play. I'm not a bracketologist, so I mean, it, it, you can look around and find differing opinions. Um, if we are, we'll get ready to go and do that. And if we're not, um, we've had a lot of opportunities to put ourselves in position. So we wanted to come in here and try to win this thing. That was the goal that we talked about. And then you, you end up wherever you are after that. So um, I said this group, hopefully we have more basketball to play. High school boys hoops, Middleton taking on Milwaukee Hamilton in a Division I sectional semifinal matchup. Wildcats jumped out to an early lead. Cardinals flew right back. Gavin Hurley completes the dine and dash for two of his 20 points. That ties the game up. Then later, the quick ball movement finds Will Garlock and the sophomore lays it in. Middleton has the lead, but it wouldn't last long. Tyrese Griggs rattles home the triple and Milwaukee Hamilton ends Middleton's season 64 to 61. McFarlane and Stoughton scoring off in a Division II sectional semifinal. Spartans started strong in this one. Dayton Gillen going to take it to the cup with ease. And McFarlane has a 12-point lead. Stoughton, though, would come all the way back. Ty Fernholz was bombs away from three-point land. That caps off a 14-2 run to tie the game up. But McFarlane's got a guy by the name of Devin Culp and he's a bucket. 22 points from him. Spartans head on to Saturday's sectional final with a 74-66 win. In Division Four, third meeting between Belleville and Marshall. Wildcats won the first two and got off to a great start. Demarcus Connor steals it and then lays it up and in. Belleville scored the game's first 10 points. Now Peyton Kleinheinz did everything he could to bring Marshall back. He sinks the floater for two of his game-high 30 points, but the Wildcats always had an answer. Andrew Ace dials one up from deep, 17 from him tonight. Belleville moves on to Saturday with a 69-54 win. And down in Division Five, Fall River taking on Cambria Friesland, and the Hilltoppers were breaking the press to perfection early. Carter Drews drops home the floater to make it a one-point game. But then the Pirates won on a run. Matthew Miller finds Keegan Rawls open, and he drains the triple. Then later in the half, it's older brother Cullen getting into the action. He's spinning and winning for two more. Fall River moves on to the sectional finals with a 68-55 win. We're back after this. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. So with a Planet Fitness Black Card, I'll get a post-workout glow like that guy? Everybody knows that you need to glow, you need to glow, to glow, to grow. And I get a free Amazon Halo to track my fitness and sleep. Cause when you got the glow, that red glow stops the glow you want to do. Oh. And I can bring a friend. It's a way up. 
Sign me up. Sign up for the PF Black Card for one dollar down, twenty four ninety nine a month, and get a free Amazon Halo View. Ends March fifteenth. It's glow time. Now's the time to save on big projects. Hurry into Menards for 11% off everything. Get 11% off easy flooring updates for your home. Find your style and save 11% on Patriot Lighting. Transform your home with 11% off new Mastercraft doors. Or go even bigger and get 11% off a new kitchen. Don't miss out. There's no limit to what you can save with 11% off everything at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Chicago. Celebrating 25 years of Broadway Razzle Dazzle. The Associated Press calls Chicago the most entertaining musical of the decade. Paint the town again with Chicago the Musical. At Overture, March 21st through 26th. Tickets at Overture.org. You ain't seen this nothing. is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get up and get into Ford F-150. Part of F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight. All amped up and ready for work or play. Plus, there's a great selection in stock and ready for delivery today. So get into Ford Truck Month and see what a built Ford Tough truck can do for you. Now, choose Flex Buy on a 2022 F-150 with 2.9% APR financing for 66 months and 1,000 Flex Buy cash plus 1,000 Ford credit cash. Two candidates for Supreme Court, two very different beliefs. Judge Janet Protasiewicz, she believes women should have the freedom to make their own decisions on abortion. Extremist Dan Kelly, he supports the 1849 law that takes away women's rights and criminalizes abortion, even in cases of rape, incest, and health of the mother. So who represents you? An extremist or a common sense judge? Vote by April 4th. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Shopco Optical welcomes more insurance plans than ever. Call to book an exam and verify coverage. Channel 3000 Plus. Watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. Carrie's back as we take a final look at what's happening out there. Let's take a final look at the. Uh, I never want to see this. <laughs> That's the Edgewater Sky Cam. We're so, uh, so yeah. done. Snow's coming down at a pretty good clip out there. Visibility is right now, uh, right now, three quarters of a mile in Madison at the airport, but half mile at the Bear Dells Airport. And those temperatures just below freezing, but the snow's starting to lighten up over Grant County. So eventually they'll start winding down overnight. Kelly right. Slifko will have the updates. Yeah, join our morning crew. They'll have the very latest and stay with channel3000.com. Do something good. We'll see you tomorrow.